Cloudberry Managed Backup Service is designed to manage service providers and resellers to maximize business continuity and avoid business disruption for their customers. First of all, to start using our service, you need to sign up on Cloudberry website. Click on Service Providers and after that click on Sign up now for free. Now you need to fill up sign up form and answer some questions. When you finish, press on the send button and you will be automatically redirected to getting started wizard of Manage Backup Service control panel. If an error occurs and automatic redirection is not applied, please check your email. You should have received an email with link to control panel and login information. Let's go back to getting started wizard and first step is select storage. You can use your own Amazon S3 account and Amazon S3 compatible account. Also, if you still don't have any cloud storage account, you can use Cloudberry managed Amazon S3 account. Second step allows you to create your first user. You need to type user's first name, last name and email. Third step is preparing your client software. Also, when you finish the second step, your user will receive notification email with login information. When your client software will be ready, you will get a notification email with download link. Also, you can download your software right from Getting Started Wizard. Click Finish and you will get the home page of Control Panel. Now let's install software on your user's machine. Your user can download it from link in notification email. Now let's install it. If user forget login information, he can always find it in email. Now let's set up your first backup plan. To run Backup Wizard, you can click on the button Backup Wizard on top menu or set up Backup Plan in Welcome page. Also, you can use Ctrl B hotkey command. Let's select Online Backup Account. On this page you can type name for your backup plan. Let's use Block Level Backup. On this page we need to select data we need to backup. Here we can specify file types to backup or to skip. On this page we can use compression and encryption. Here we can specify purge options for backup files. Next page allows us to specify schedule options. Let's use run manually. Now we can specify full backup schedule options. This page allows to specify commands we want to be executed before or after backup completes. Here we have notification options and now we can review our backup plan settings. Our backup plan is ready and we can run it now or later from the list of our backup plans. Backup is finished and now let's overview some options on control panel. On home page you can see general information about users and licenses. On users page you can see the list of your users, you can edit or drop them and also can create new users. Monitoring page allows you to monitor backups of your users. And on licenses page you can see all your licenses and also you can buy new packs of it. Now you see how easy it is to start use Cloudberry Managed Backup Service and you can try it right now.